Okay, let's try that. So, the HP 35? Yeah, the uh, uh, sequence of events is that um, a friend of mine from high school hmm. invited me over to show me his dad's lab. And his dad was an inventor who had made enough money to like, be a consultant, and he had his lab and his workshop at home. Hmm. And uh, he pulled out this calculator and said, take a look at this. And I said, wow, that's really a lot more than any calculator I've ever seen. Would you mind if I showed my dad? Hmm. He said, well, I won't let you take it, but I'll come over and show him, sure. So... He drove over and uh, took me home and uh, showed it to Dad. And Dad said, this is amazing. And it's HP. He already had a HP desktop computer that he was using as a word processor, an early word processor. Uh, 9920 was the model number. I'll tell you more about that later. Anyway, so he saw that the HP 35 had come out. This inventor was really in the fast track for being an early adopter. So he had one of, one of the really early ones. And Dad called the guy he bought the 9920 from and said, I want one of those HP calculators. And he got it within a week or something. Very shortly after that, delivery was like two or three months away because no one expected the kind of uh, demand that showed up for the things. When they first came out, they were $400 for a handheld calculator. They $400 quickly, at the time? At the time. Damn. Brand new. They quickly dropped to something like, 225 or 125 or something like that. So Dad got the lower price, but it was hard to get a hold of him for a while. So, here's the thing. <clears throat> if you understand that the important calculations are the number and the power of 10 that you're dealing with, in other words, scientific notation, and you can build a calculator that can easily handle that, which HP did, um, HP allowed you to calculate numbers as large as the first 12 digits of a number that was 10 to the 99th down to 10 to the minus 99th. That's a broad range of numbers. Nothing in the world covers that range of numbers. But in math, you need to do that. That's why it was so brilliant. So, anyway. But that a huge range? That's a huge range. And that's why it was... That's so 10 with uh, 100 zeros after it. To a decimal point and 100 zeros point one, right? That's oh. the range of numbers you can calculate oh. if you're dealing with numbers. And in the practical engineering world, ratios are nice, but numbers are what's really important. Numbers is how you calculate ratios. Okay. Numbers is how you measure angles. And you'd be able to enter these in by doing scientific notation times 10 to the 39. That's right. And what you do is you press the E key, huh. E27. And that does it. That does it. Huh. 1.7 times e times 10 to the and, minus and, 27. And it's not the it's not the number e, is it? It's a key that's marked e. That's marked e. It's not, not the symbol e. It's yeah, a command e. It, e meaning exponent. What's the exponent okay, of 10? Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. That makes much more sense. So, um, that's a little background on the calculator and how, how well it was received. Just yesterday, I found Dad's folder with the literature about the various HP calculators. He went through a series of them. It's got the original sales brochure for the HP 35. <laughs> it's got this blue thing that looks like a court docket because it's stapled to a piece of blue paper. Hmm. As if you're going to read it over and over again so you want it to stay yeah. clean. Yeah. And it is a technical evaluation of the HP 35 calculators. Just hilarious, mm. engineering-focused kind of stuff, you know. Mm. Anyway... Um, so, he got an early one, and this was in the time frame of the early 70s when the first gas crunch hit, and inflation was really climbing badly. So people were very conscious of the price of things changing from what it had been. Hmm. Now, with that calculator, he was able to do his work in the office his work in the field at twice the speed mm -hmm. because he didn't have to deal with log tables. Can you finish it up quick before she walks? Sure. Because Bob just got home. And so he was able to do his jobs in much quicker time. People got the same bill even though he was raising his rates and they were very happy to stay with him because he 
properly computerized would operate what part of his operation he could. An early adopter. Because he was an early adopter of the HP 35. Okay. And that's the story about that.